trash. What is up guys, welcome back to Botellado and Bondelago. Welcome back to Bottled and Bond, I'm Ozzy. Today, we are actually headed back to the Breckridge Distillery in Colorado. I've been dying to hit these guys back up. Amanda just so happened to, you know, be kind of nice for uh, Valentine's Day. And uh, she got me a nice little bottle, one that I hadn't seen and one that's a little bit unique and one that I'm expecting it to be pretty good. So let's go back to the Breckenridge Distillery and let's try out their rum cask finish. Bam! So this baby right here is the Breckenridge rum cask finish uh, from Colorado, right? So this is batch number nine, 45% uh, ABV. So it says it's blended. It's blended bourbon whiskey finish and rum barrels with natural flavors added. So this has natural flavors added. I'm pretty sure the camera is not going to pick up what I am picking up, but if you can pick it up, right there you can pick up little grainy stuff so anyway um i'm gonna shake this up just a little bit reason four is because i'm not gonna shy away just because there's things in there uh sometimes some whiskeys do tend to have that i know uh the copper fox had a little bit of a uh, jizz looking stuff in there uh in, initially it was it wasn't that bad it's just you know the the stuff that was in there was kind of weird um I don't necessarily, I didn't do, so I wanted to make this video real quick. I didn't do any kind of research on this baby right here. So I can't necessarily say how long they were finished in rum casks. And I don't think the bottle states it. I hopefully, hopefully they, they aged it for a few months, maybe four or five, six months. If you guys know, let me know in the comments below. And uh, if you guys have had it also, let me know. But nonetheless, let's open this baby up. Man, straight coffee notes. Oh man, this is toffee, this is candy. This is heaven, oh that smells delicious. Love it. Oh my geez, listen. This baby is a candy toffee caramel in your mouth or your nose. I do get a, a slight, a very, very tiny, sweet sense of a mustiness, but it is overpowered by the caramel and the toffee, butterscotch, candy-like, very nutty. I hope the stuff inside there is not what's making it nutty. A little bit of those uh, corn smells, man, I go back to the, uh, the Boston baked beans, just because of the nuttiness, the candiness, the butterscotch, uh, not so much on the honey, but definitely heavy on that caramel and on that toffee, man. Cheers. Hmm. Different. Hmm. Oh, I do get that rum. So, again, if you know the amount of time that is spent in a rum cask as a finish, three months, six months, I highly doubt it was a year. But this thing really picked up an array of flavors from rum if you're into rum this takes me back to like a sweet sailor jerry uh i don't want to say cruzan because uh, anyways just a sweet sailor jerry style rum you know it's just sweet delicious but man like i said on the nose on the finish on the back end i guess of the smell after you pick up all the the candy like you know buttery and uh and just caramel like notes you do pick up a little bit of that corn corn and nuttiness a part of it, because of the corn, like, a part of it does, um, it makes me want to say, and I could be wrong, and if I am wrong, whether that's Breckenridge telling me I'm wrong, or it's you fabulous people, just let me know in the comments below. But this tastes like it was blended from the, the, uh, the white dog coming out, blended just right then and there, and taken straight into a rum, rum cask. It's not a dark color. It's nothing crazy. Do I like it? Man, I can enjoy this. I can get down with this. 
Um, not necessarily, not necessarily uh, with an ice cube, but I'm pretty sure it would taste with an ice cube. Would, would I have this as a daily drinker? Would I have this as a maintenance drinker? I don't think so. Considering the price, uh, in your, to my knowledge, am I wrong? I don't even know the price of this because it was a gift. So if you know that, put it down. Uh, but for the ballpark price range, man, this can easily go anywhere above 30, maybe even 40. Maybe this is a $50 bottle. I don't know. Amanda, let me know in the comments below. You're the one that got it. Thank you so much. But uh, it's 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 something I, I'd show somebody. I keep it stocked and I show somebody and uh, have them try it. And it's it's not bad. I don't. It's definitely a sweet bomb, okay? I'll leave it at that. It's a corn, butterscotch, caramel, nutty, little bit of toffee, sweet bomb in your mouth. And if you're into that kind of stuff, then so be it. You know, um, you know what? Call me crazy. I'd be willing to put maybe one part this into three parts bourbon uh regular bourbon maybe like a like a bottled in bond high proof bourbon just to give it a different flavor that mixture you know kind of like the uh the knob creek maple maple uh whiskey it's it's not a whiskey it's like a more like a liqueur but kind of like that you know you got a hundred proof evan williams and although good you know you throw in the rocks you kind of lose some of those flavors easier to drink but you want those robust flavors you throw a little bit of that knob creek maple um, this is kind of similar. Throw a little bit of this or sip it neat and enjoy it. Nonetheless, guys, if you guys have had Breckenridge rum cask finish from the Breckenridge Distillery in Colorado, let me know in the comments below. Again, it is a blend. Again, it's not necessarily cheap and I don't necessarily know how long it was aged in a rum cask finish. So if you do, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what whiskeys you think I should be reviewing next here. On bottled and bond i'm ozzy and this is the breckenridge rum cask finish a whiskey blended whiskey from the breckenridge distillery in colorado and this is bottled in bond cheers